Go Global is an educational initiative that connects leading academic institutions from around the world to collaborate on major regional and international design challenges using interdisciplinary cross-cultural design teams. The 2014 Go Global brought together over 70 students and a team of 12 professors and lecturers from the Innovation Design Engineering Masters at the Royal College of Art Imperial College London and engineering and design students from Schenkar College in Tel Aviv. This year's project is based on several years research by Schenkar College into promoting craft and economic development through design interventions. Each and every one of you will experience a little piece of Israel but together I think you'll have a larger and a more interesting picture of what Israel is like. Bukhim Chabayim, that means uh, welcome in Hebrew. Ashlan Nusalan means welcome in Arabic. And uh, welcome, which means welcome in English. <laughs> A mixture of RCA, Imperial and Schenker is something really quite extraordinary because this is the first time that I have seen a program which brings together the two sides in such an amazingly joint and equal way. The purpose of our three-week project is to work with a diverse range of craftspeople in Israel and Palestine to create opportunities for design thinking to generate social and economic benefit. We grouped the eight project partners into three main areas. Galilee in the north, the West Bank and the North Negev Desert in the south. Students visited each location three times for research, co-design workshops and for testing and developing the final design concepts. Our partners in the North Negev were the Ethiopian craftswoman at the Ette Center in Kiryat Gat, supported by Achoti and the Bedouin weavers in Lakia, working under the organization of Sidre. Both groups have a very strong tradition of cultural crafts passed down through many generations and feel that it is important to maintain some of these practices to support social cohesion and cultural identity. יש מאחוריו גם מסורת מאוד מאוד יפה ותרבות ונשים בחברה מסוימת ואיך החברה המסוימת הזאת מתייחסת לנשים ומה העבודה הזאת היא בשביל הנשים האלה ואיפה הם עושות את העבודה הזאת. השאלה הכי גדולה, אם זה צריך להישאר כמסורת שנראה עוד כמה שנים במוזיאונים או שצריך איכשהו להנגיש את זה לדור החדש. It's very interesting. It's, uh, it's always the political, economic, and social issues that are tied in with with design, which is yeah, actually quite rewarding. I'm finding, I'm enjoying it. And then you've got the information on the back. This is the main thing we wanted to do change here. Tamid, you need to bring new ideas. I think the reason for the new Katan and also for the new people who come is the reason for the new. כי אלו באמת הרעיונות שכל הזמן חשבנו עליהם, אבל לא יישמנו, לא יישמנו אותה. וזה הזמן וזה הקבוצה שהייתה מתאימה לעשות את זה. The Galilee region had two partners. One was located in Um el Fachem, where an art center has been training local women who want to develop a range of new products with a contemporary Arabic design language. The other partner, Harduf, is a kibbutz located further north on a hill overlooking Haifa with a residential population of young people recovering from mental conditions through craft practices, including ceramics, metalwork, textiles and weaving. This 
the gallery. A ceramic cup or a mug that would sort of be a lopsided shape, but. Matay siya nila bago sa kanim as ba? Zeripuy, ba aliripuy? The people have been super warm and just in general look very, very smiley. We're, we're hoping to um, to give a bit back. I feel that they are very and they can really help us. Four projects were cited in the West Bank around Bet Jala, Bet Sakhor, and Khusan. The Bethlehem Arab Society for Rehabilitation supported the project through their network of craft rehabilitation centers run to support education for the disabled and help rehabilitation patients to regain a place in society. Basma and Khusan are schools focused on educating disabled children through craft rehabilitation and want to improve the quality of their products and the education experiences of their clients. The guys who run the place are really dedicated. Well, they seem really excited every time we come in. Like today they were almost like, oh, you, you came back. They thought we would be so frightened. It's extremely real. I'd say so like last night I didn't sleep before I came here it was I, I really feel here that you have the opportunity to really help shape and move this place forward equally I feel I have this really frightening responsibility that anything I do do I need to absolutely put 100% into because if you if you make a decision that you haven't fully thought through it's it's a very very real environment here Parent Circle and Miriam had extensive groups of Palestinian embroiderers from villages and refugee camps all over the West Bank, hoping to increase profits and exports through new products and commercialization routes. Um, after my son David was killed by a Palestinian sniper, um, originally when, when the army came to tell me that David had been killed, um, Apparently, one of the first things I said is, you may not kill anybody in the name of my child. And then started a very long journey of myself looking to see what I wanted to do. And bottom line was I wanted to prevent other families, both Palestinian and Israeli, from experiencing this pain. It was January 2007, and Israeli border police shot and killed my 10 year old daughter. And here what Nelson Mandela says, if you want to make peace with your enemy, you need to work with him. Then he became your partner. And this is our goal, to create a partnership between both of us. Good boy! Plus, give it like a, a present for me. Oh, that's so nice. Yes. <laughs> Following the project exhibition at the Perez Center for Peace, many of the projects have continued developing and partners continue to be in contact, updating us on their progress. Omel Fachim Gallery fully implemented the creative processes that were suggested by the students. In order to take these processes forward, the heads of the gallery 
are collaborating with a renowned craft center in Israel to build a unique vocational program for their trainee potters. Hiram from Kibbutz Harduf are in the phase of implementing many of the design ideas and brand identity items that came out of the project. Furthermore, Hiram plans to expand the center's activities in order to become a regional center for rehabilitation through making. At the Ette Center, the creators used the new design tools and visual language in order to produce new products for the new sales season. Together with staff and students from Shenkar, the Lakia Weaving Center is promoting the production of a small educational version of the Bedouin loom. The projects of the parent circle Imra have been presented to top American retailers that promote quality crafts from around the world and they are bonding with other NGOs in order to create a sustainable infrastructure for the products. Lots of people in Palestine and especially Muslims who live in Palestine, they don't have work because of the war. She thanks you all very much and she's asking for your help in marketing. Thank you. Bum 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 b